Hey guys, so with the iPhone 14 Pro Max, Apple went all out and have done the impossible once again. And yes, OnePlus, Samsung and Xiaomi are feeling heat right now. It almost sounded like you don't like me, which is impossible. So the highlight of this device is not just dynamic island and powerful cameras, but the A16 Bionic chipset cause the score of that silicon is beyond our imagination, way beyond what we have seen till now. So yes guys, for the first time a smartphone went over 5400 in multi-core score, the A15 was somewhat near 4500 in the iPhone 13 Pro Max with single core hitting 1730. This latest iPhone 14 Pro Max went 1887 in the single core score, so that is overall 17% more powerful than the last gen silicon. So yes, when rendering or playing high graphic game, it is gonna crush almost all phones in the market right now. The funniest part is Qualcomm's latest 8 plus Gen 1 which is there in the Samsung Z Fold 4 and Xiaomi 12s Ultra is not even close to a 15 silicon in terms of Geekbench. The max multi-core score I saw was below 4K, so the A16 silicon is beyond that trace, yet it is power efficient cause based on 4 nanometer TSMC process is powerful and of course the heat dissipation is better too. Yes guys, speed test and battery test is coming soon, so make sure to subscribe. Shocking news coming in, Apple won't adapt RCS which is the new message protocol, something Samsung, OnePlus and Pixel are using and are begging from Apple to do the same. But Tim Cook says buy an iPhone if you want to send or receive messages like images or videos in the best quality. So a savage reply from Tim and I get it they won't do it cause it may hurt their sales plus no RCS on iPhone will force some of you to get an iPhone. Finally, the iOS 16 is coming out on September 12th. This is all guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe and peace out.